The chronological Bible reading first is Judges chapters 6 and 7. Israel against Midian. Midian's oppressing Israel. The people are starving. They're hiding in caves because of their sin. God, when we sin, hands us over much of the time to our adversaries so that we will not be comfortable in our sin and God will be gracious to redeem us, to save us when we turn. The people, after seven years of being oppressed, finally they cry out to God and God raises up for them a man named Gideon. It's beautiful how when the angel of Yahweh appears to Gideon, he says, Yahweh is with you, valiant warrior. Do you think Gideon thought of himself as a valiant warrior? Maybe he dreamed about being a valiant warrior when he was a child, but that doesn't seem to be walking itself out in this point in his life. Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but a lot of times God will have a completely different view of our identity and our calling than we do. What did you dream of being when you were a child? And are you that now? If you had dreams in the physical realm, how can you apply those to the spiritual realm? Stop right now, pause the video and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you, Father, who do you say I am? What calling have you placed on my life? How is what you want for me different or opposed to what I wanted for myself? How is your choice for me and your calling on my life different than what I am living out currently? How much more could we affect this world for God's glory if we were to have that conversation with him on a regular basis? The angel then says to Gideon, go in the strength you have and deliver Israel. I am sending you. Go in the strength you have. What strength did Gideon have? What strength do you have? What strength do I have? But God is saying, I am sending you. God is sending you. He is sending me. And he's telling us to go with what we have. Stop putting it off. Let's not procrastinate any longer. Let's not make excuses about being ill-equipped any longer. Let's go and do what God is calling us to do. And let's do it with the resources that he's given us. You've heard it many times before. God doesn't call the equipped. He equips the called. We, friends, are called. We are on mission. Let's answer the call. When the angel disappears, Gideon freaks out a little bit when he realizes that he had seen God. He had been speaking with God face to face. And the Lord Yahweh spoke to him and said, don't be afraid. Peace to you. You will not die. And Gideon builds an altar and he names it Yahweh Shalom. I think he must have had to call it Shalom. He had to name that place to remind himself of the peace that he felt, the peace that transcends understanding after being in the presence of the Most High God. Have you ever been in the presence of the Most High God in such a way that his peace transcends, surpasses your understanding? Have you ever been motivated to act after been being clothed in the Holy Spirit, clothed by the Holy Spirit, enveloped by God's presence as Gideon was when he blew the ram's horn. And it was after that that he was so motivated. He was filled with the Spirit of God. It changed who he was. And that led to him blowing the ram's horn, rallying the troops. Then he asks God for a sign. God, are you surely in this? Before I lead these 32,000 men into battle, I need to know that you are with me. Give me a sign. 
Because God, if you're not with me, not only do I not want to go, but I surely don't want to draw these men into a battle where they will lose their lives. Please forgive me, God. Thank you for that one sign. Can you give me another sign? There's nothing wrong with asking God for a sign. I think it pleases him. It's part of our maturation process. God, I think I heard you say, will you please confirm that for me? When God gives us the sign we ask for, we need to ensure that we follow through and obey him. Let it build our faith. Are you growing in faith? Are you passing the test and moving on to the next grade to learn more, to grow more, to be stretched in new ways? I pray that you are. God bless you, my friends. Thank you for being on this journey. May God clothe you. May he envelop you with his Holy Spirit. May he continue to equip you as you go about the journey of fulfilling the calling that he's placed on your life. We'll see you tomorrow.